Okay, I had to speak on this, this article before I go to bed tonight. I'm not going to read the entire article, but I'm going to put a link to this article on the bottom and you can read it for yourself. Now, I don't usually wish bad on no one, especially a family man, you know? Um, but in this case, when I read this article, when I first saw this article, the first thing I said was, finally, because judges can judge unjustly. They judge politically and they judge racially biased and even sex bias. See, so these judges, man, these unjust judges have destroyed so many lives of men, especially men. And when I looked at the comments, when I read the comments under that news article, just about every man said that it was good and it finally happened because judges are so biased. There are so many men that grew up without having to know their children. There are so many judges that made men spend so much money on child support monthly and weekly. And yet these men were not able to even see their child. There are men that I know that have paid child support for young people that are now adults and they have not seen their child since their child was two or three years old. And it's all because of how these judges just unjustly. So finally, a judge is judged. And you know what? Maybe it maybe more of this needs to happen before judges start taking their job seriously and stop destroying the lives of men or people in general. Now, when I read this article, it talked about how he was a family man, how he had children, but yet it was no thing for him to separate a man from his child. Now I'm gonna read a portion of this article and I'm gonna close it out, but more of this need to happen. Where judges are judged, they need to deal with the consequences of their actions. Just look at the case of Trump and so many Trump supporters that, you know, being judged unjustly, their lives are being destroyed. Think of this whole Second Amendment thing, this whole gun ban thing, and how unjust judges are stripping Americans from their rights to self-defense, their constitutional rights, but they're doing it politically for political gain. So when things like this happen to judges, expect the public to say, finally, it's happening. And again, I don't usually wish harm or bad on no one, but you reap what you sow. Now, according to this article, it says, authorities say a Maryland judge who was shot to death in the driveway of his home had presided over the divorce case of a man now identified as a suspect in the killing. Washington County Sheriff Brian Albert said that authorities are actively working to apprehend 49-year-old Pedro Agate in the shooting death of Maryland Circuit Court Judge Andrew Wilkinson. Wilkinson, 52, was found with gunshot wounds around 8 p.m. Thursday outside his home in Hagerstown. Authorities said Wilkinson was taken to Meredith Medical Center where he died of his injuries. Albert said at a news conference Friday that the judge's wife and son were also home 
at the time of the shooting. Now, note that where it says, Albert said at the news conference Friday that the judge's wife, see he had a wife and son, were also home at the time of the shooting. I'm sure that there are so many homes that he divided and separated. He took so many men out of the home, took the side of that poor innocent woman that was standing there pretending, lived her whole life as a devil, made that man's life a living hell and now she stands before judge and plays the victim and the judge rules in her favor. It was just a matter of time that a man was going to stand up and take revenge for what this judge did to his family. This judge is able to go home to his wife and his son. But now judgment has reached his door. See, so I'm hoping that other judges will take note of this because citizens are tired of being screwed around by unjust judges political judges judges that's take trying to take away their second amendment right judges that destroy families and homes that take men away from their children and children away from the fathers it says authorities are actively looking for our god our God, who is considered armed and dangerous albert detained declined to identify what type of weapon used in the, uh, in the slaying, but said Agate legally owned a handgun. Okay, so again, like I said, finally it happened, man. It's like, it was just a matter of time that a man was gonna stand up and say, look, I'm tired, man, because listen, you can go to court and do everything right. You can have all your paperwork in order. You can go in there, tell the truth, be, be, be the most sincerest person. And she's standing there lying and throw those fake crocodile tears. And that man have no sympathy for you. He's there, he, he, he politically, he would take the sides of that woman. That man is basically begging to be in his child's life. And a lot of these judges can get quite nasty with you just because of the fact that they're, seating, they're sitting in that judgment seat. See, they look down upon you and then they go home to their families. But in this case, a real man finally stood up and said, listen, I'm not gonna take this. This judge granted his ex-wife custody of their children. So, again, I don't know the details, the full details of that case, but when I read that article and I heard that video, the first thing I said was finally. And more judges need to take note when they're making judgment over somebody's lives, especially Second Amendment, because it's just a matter of time, you're gonna start seeing more of this taking place because you're playing with people's livelihoods, man, politically. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.